I'm sitting here with uh, Ross and uh, Gary from Nude Cross in uh, Christania, and this is the last day of Heavy Days in Doomtown. Uh, how has uh, Heavy Days treating you so far? Beautiful, beyond all expectations. Um, Daniel and his crew, uh, they're, they're incredible. What can I say? What about you? Yeah, I mean, it's really like nothing we've ever played before, the kind of thing that really couldn't happen in the States, you know? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I've been talking with, about the same stuff with all the, all the bands and uh, people that I've been interviewing, and, uh, and one of the main uh, main uh, subjects has been uh, how, how uh, this whole doom environment has turned into a kind of a movement almost. It's, 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 it's a very spiritual gathering and stuff like that, and, and, and that's what, what I fell in love about the whole scene, and that's why I'm doing this documentary also, to show people that, that the stuff is real still. So what are your thoughts, your thoughts about uh, stuff like that? Well, um, <clears throat> it's true, you know, there's so many sub-genres of music, but uh, I think that, uh, I think that as far as metal goes, that when the pace slows down, um, you know, with the tempo, and there's more room for expression and feeling, um, that's what I've always felt about slower music, is that it, it's, um, it, it, to me, it resonates much stronger. Yeah. I think it, 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 for me, it has much more of a, of a it's much more of a, a vehicle. And, um, you know, fast metal and stuff, it all has its place. But I, I think because of that, perhaps, the, there is a kind of a spiritual vibe in the community mm -hmm. and amongst the bands and, um, and the history of it. I mean, Black Sabbath was the coolest band on earth, you know, I mean, <laughs> They, they started it all, and, you know, in 1970 and 71, I mean, there was not a cooler band or a heavier band. No, absolutely And they, they definitely have inspired this whole thing. God bless Tony Iommi. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that's what I think at this moment, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to tell my uh, childhood experience of, of, of Black Sabbath. I was nine years old and uh, already loved, loved in, uh, uh, of rock music, but I, I was loving rockabilly and rock and roll and stuff like that. And my mother took me one day into her room and said, uh, son, sit down on the bed. Uh, I have to play you a piece of music. Uh, I think this is really good. I said, okay. She put me on the, put the record on, gave me the cover. The song starts, first comes the th rain, and then thunder, then lightning. Then I'm looking at the cover and there's a green witch in an uh, empty house, in front of an empty house and then, then the song starts and dry notes of course and, and the, the slowness and it, fuck, I was scared. Did I, you shit yourself? Not, but I, I thought to myself, I will never listen to this kind of music. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am doing now a film about this kind of music so things can change. But uh, what, what are your thoughts about the whole... Uh, the movement and spiritualism about doom metal. Yeah, I think like back when when we were playing and there were other bands that you know we identified with like Grief and Cattle Press and I Hate God, you know, all in the states, of course, and then Corrupted and stuff like that. It it seemed to take a while to grow. It seems like back then, you know, people would have been yelling "Play faster" or something. <laughs> you know, you're not going to hear that here. No. And uh, I, it just took a while for people to realize that doom was really sort of where you know that it, it had a place like you're saying like spiritually where they yeah, they yeah. identified with it yeah exactly uh, I have a one question that I ask from everybody uh, what does uh, doom metal mean to you uh, I, it's the soundtrack of my life that's a good answer yeah I mean I often feel the same way I mean it's the perfect to me like in the dark and very loud is the best way to experience doom when you're, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, you, you came here yesterday? Yes, we yeah. played, played last night. L last night, yeah, and uh, that was an uh, amazing concert, I have to say. Probably pff, the most of the bands has been pretty fucking great, I have to say. There's not much of downers <laughs> at all, <laughs> if you ask me. It's been a great festival. Uh, what, what is the future for Nordgrass? What are you guys doing? Where are you heading from here, and, and, and what, what's coming in the future? Well, right now we're gonna we're gonna spend the next week um, playing some shows in Holland and Germany and Czech Republic, yeah. and then uh, we have some festivals this year in the States we're gonna play, yeah. and um, you know in the meantime we're gonna have some fun. Um, we're not gonna start writing anything right now, but 
we have some very silly ideas. We're going to do some some covers uh, that we think are going to be very interesting, at least for us. Yes. And um, uh, we're just, you know, it's been 10 years, and um, we started playing last year, and we're just kind of taking this one step at a time, really. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but we've had some very, very kind and generous offers, and we are able, including heavy days here, and um, we're just going to take advantage of a few of those right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not really able to uh, go out and be road dogs like we used to and go out on no. four and eight week tours and stuff, but um, we would, we would, there's, there's so many people there now since we stopped playing in 2001 yeah. that know of our music and love it and, and many of them never had the opportunity to see us, especially in, in Europe because we never made it over here yeah, when, yeah. when we were active because for seven years we were a very busy band but unfortunately we never made it overseas. Um, but I mean, hopefully, you know, our, there, there is a future for us. Um, people are, are interested more than ever and, uh, and we're having fun with it right now and, and all those things are, are really positive, so. Yeah, awesome, cool.